Welcome everybody. Random Dice just dropped a new update video with new upcoming events. So we're going to react to the video and we're going to talk about what the event brings and actually this event looks interesting because now uh, people were talking about it in the past because when you compare Random Dice with other games, not about Random Dice, how it itself is unique, but we are talking about how other games have events back to back, back to back. It's like when you play other games, you have event events when one event ends, the next one starts. Now, with Random Dice, we got a big event with the points event. Now, the Moon Festival is coming up. And with the moon festival, it brings back to like the Santa's event. If you played a uh, random dice long one long enough in or last Christmas, then you know what the Santa's box event was. So the silent size is going to be OP for that event. And then we got the treasure event. We're going to look at the video and then yeah. I just woke no I didn't woke up, just I woke up a long time ago, but Yep, it's barely in the morning, that's what I want to say. Yeah. Wait, let me check the... the... how loud it is. One second. Okay, I think the volume is valid. Hello, this is Pinky. We are having fun at the party right now. We also have various events to welcome Moon Festival 2021. Wanna check the Moon Festival events out? Let me make a brief announcement before yeah, the event. Yeah, I almost forgot the added main quest. Yeah, the added main quest. Some people were saying, oh, the main quests are already over. But they added some quests to the main quests. And is the addition of the main quest, main quests have been added. Unlike daily quests, these casts have a connecting story, so it is even more fun to clear. Let's clear casts and get rewards since it was- Oh, I mean, if you look at the pictures, the pictures always shows what you get. So we'll be getting some of those arcade, arcade tickets. Um, those are the platinum chests. Those are the platinum chests. Then we got a little bit gold. Then we got a little bit gems. Those. We look at this amount of gold is like 5k around those amount and this is like 250 gems then we got uh, the Colosseum so if you already have the Colosseum battlefield you get instead of 500 gems then we get I don't know how much of those um, ores the um, um, epic gauze and the normal ores yeah suspended to 33 levels on this patch yeah Ooh, 23 levels. So right now it goes to level 17, so 16 more levels. Yeah. We're going to see how. We think we're going to make a stream about it when it comes live, and we're going to play those uh, levels. Let me tell you about the event now. Not only one, but two events are coming to help players work on Moon Festival. It's the Open Treasure Chest Trick and Random Cube. Yeah, the Open Treasure Chest Trick. Is the one I'm talking about the center gift and the random cube we're going to see what she's going to talk about pinky but I already know but I need to recap again because I just saw the video once event you can check the event by tapping on the top right side of the lobby yeah that's a good information some people don't know where to check out the events it's always on the top right side but nice for the information for other players I can't wait to see what the events are. Let's take a look. The first event is the Open Treasure Chest Trick event. This event happens in the co-op mode. After the boss stage is over, there is a chance for extra winnings when the treasure chest opens. The treasure chest will take one- Yeah, those um, treasure chest trick. Oh my god, this long word. Uh, those are better when they appear in the later stage. Some people just play like what used to be meta was um, one player will play um, Joker, Mimic, um, what's his name, Silence Dice, and I don't know what the other two were. Maybe Grove and something else. And your teammate will play um, Luna 
wind. Wind is broken in this event. And the wind player has to be um, a high DPS player. And the best thing to play this event if you have a clock with you because uh, you know the, the cooldown of um, how you call it of silent size so you won't activate it too early when you have a clock on your okay you, well, you're playing on your phone but when you have a clock that uh, you know when the certain amount of time is passed I say certain amount because with the power ups the silence that gets stronger and I think with class up it gets stronger as well so I think 11 seconds is for each dot count but when you power up you get additional one second yeah and with class up I think you get one second as well I can check it but we can check it when the video for the silent start itself comes out uh, for the deck just um, yeah one damage is your pack no matter how strong the dice is the treasure chest grow yeah this they have added to this because in the past with the centers we didn't have that the center uh, gift evolves the more damage you make the stronger the treasure chest gets so I think and also uh, when it gets stronger you get more rewards when you hit it more yeah goes in three stages according to the number of hit at each stage you can win more treasure keys if you press the treasure chest event tap it with this treasure key you'll see all items that again let's analyze the picture because they don't do the picture for random so we're getting three diamond chest let's say 500 gems the gold uh, let's say around 1k uh, 10k maybe it's more and we get two k tickets it can be more and those are maybe 100 car tickets in corp then we get one legendary chest and one um king's legendary chest i was thinking about how's the other name i think it's king's legendary um, wait the other one is king's legendary is queen's legendary there's two legendary chests you know you saw it. i think that's the king's because it has a crown on it yeah i think it's the king's legendary chest okay let's continue it can be exchanged win more treasure keys by attacking more treasure chests looking at this deck it's not good i mean if you don't have the silence dice you can go for the shield dice oh actually yeah so maybe the support plays uh silence with time i don't think so but just a short thought because yeah time is also helping but i think with luna you can also go close to the max the silence size needs more uh, to focus on the silence part so it is better to arrange your deck with high attack speed in co-op mode let's release stress by attacking treasure chests like bam bam and get the keys too the second event is the random cube event you can get various things by opening random cube like a random box it can be opened for free once a day and after that it can be opened yeah i'll be using diamonds for this uh, i'm not i have so many diamonds i'll be open once per day for free but i'll use diamonds as well it depends how much diamonds it costs but the it, prices are nice the price are nice but seeing that we're going to analyze the picture but after that there's another picture so using diamonds you can open it up 30 times a day rewards are given stop here look because what i was saying if you look at the picture i think when you open after certain so you're getting a random reward and after like you, if you open this chest 15 times you're getting one legendary chest when you open 30 times you get a five account tickets when you open it 50 times you get a one legendary or 70 times the legend king's legendary chest and 100 times three legendary ores so in four days most people or the people with lots of gems going to have four legendary ores and but when you open you get a different price that's what i'm thinking yeah 
let's look what's the picture. Let's analyze this picture. Moon Festival Random Cube. One of the items from the list will be provided when you purchase a random chest. You may also get additional rewards from your purchase. I think those are the additional rewards. The price grows up after 15 purchases. Yeah. Oh, the price goes up. Maybe once you bought it 15 times, you're going to get better rewards. I see. That's an interesting thing. So that's a separate event. Just for your information. So two separate events. And when we look at the first picture, they look like they are going to be in a time when we're going to have the points event so it should be coming the next few days maybe when i'm uploading the video and the event has already dropped yeah but i'm uploading on the same day it's just maybe one or two hours or three hours after the random dice official video according to the number of treasure keys collected during this event we ask for your interest and participation since the event has a lot of icons that players want. This one confused me. It says a month of treasure. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Back, back, back. Rewards are given according to the number of treasure keys. Wait. According. Let's go back. You can open it up to 30 times per day. Rewards are, give Rewards are given according, according to the number of, to the number of treasure, key treasure key collected during the event. So the random cube is connected to the treasure keys because from the treasure chest. Oh my god. Treasure chest event. Come on. You're getting treasure keys. And for that, you're going to use it for the random cube. I think the update has to hit before I really understand that. Keys collected during this event. We ask for your interest and participation. Of course. Since the event. And now we're going to analyze the another picture. I think the, because we saw legendary ores in the other thing. But he, now we got not only the legendary chest, we got now the queen's chest and. Uh, I don't know the name of that. I might open the game on the site, but I never buy those uh, for 3k and 2.5k because those chests, chests are overpriced. I know you're getting uh, one of those dice that are listed, one of them, but not all. Okay, let me look one second. So what's the name of the chest? You can know anyway. Okay, they're all king's chests, but this is the king's. Uh, the left side is the king's legacy chest in the middle we see the king's birth chest chest and the right is the king's death chest so they're all kings there's no queen's chest yeah the crown made sense but i knew that one of them also were called kings but they're all called kings so we'll be getting i think when we look at the small dots it looks like a little bit of gold and then we got a pile of diamonds pile of gold those are the higher dots of gold yeah um that seems interesting that has a lot of icons that players want we hope your inventories fill up as you are thankful and welcome on festival my inventory is already f uh, empty i mean not the gold is filled up the diamonds are filled up but the dice to upgrade zero with because of the um, points event but now i got six million gold i'm going max with this event or my alt or my other alts I, no, 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 i'm already finished with the event i'm not going to grind up corp crazy um right now I'm, I'm focused on the arcade mode i'm doing some fun pvp with the nuke di uh, corp dice do it some fun nuke with the corp dice Again, some fun co-op with the nuke dice. Why is some fun nuke? Doesn't make sense. The videos are coming soon out. Just been busy lately. Hope you all have a wonderful moon festival. Okay, that's all for this update news. 
A patch note for this great moon festival. We hope all players like it. Have a wonderful moon festival. We are also enjoying your fan art through the YouTube community and social media. Oh, so, we ask for your interest and participation. Random Dice always listens to your feedback thoroughly. So, please feel free to let us know what you think. And please understand that the details of the extra patch may change. Bye, okay. everyone! Bye-bye! So, that's it with the video. So, we saw the information what is coming up. Um, interesting. I didn't expect to have another event after this event. I thought it's going to be a drought again, like we used to know there's a drought. No, but they hit us not with one event, they hit us with two new events. So, I'm be, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy that we're going to have some new events and I'm looking forward to them because even though I got almost all my non legendary max. I'm still into this game going on in hard. But since I maxed them out, the PvP got easier. Either PvP got easier or my deck is strong. It is a um, video coming up. I wanted to upload it somehow in Noble, but it's coming up. The winning streak is still there. It's, it's not like sometimes you're having some people doing some videos and after the video is like, oh yeah, the streak is gone, but the streak is still on. So anyway, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and bye.